So this is the Z80 project part four. And in this project, we added some IO control and some IO devices. The IO devices we added were four tactile switches. And we also added four LEDs. Now our little program that we wrote basically reads those four inputs, transfers into register A in the Z80 processor itself, and then puts them back out onto the LEDs. By pressing the first tactile switch, the first one comes on. By pressing the second one, the second one comes on. By pressing the third one, the third one comes on. And finally, by pressing the fourth one, the fourth one comes on. Now it does look like that these buttons are just turning those LEDs on, but in what's actually happening is that the Z80 is requesting the information found on the tactile switches and is put through the 74HC244. That then gets transferred into the Z80. Then it takes that data, selects the latch, the 74HC374, um, and then saves that information onto those LEDs. That's why when I push it, it turns on and it remains on, but as soon as I let go, it turns back off because it's now reading a zero there. And so hence you can use all four LEDs. And for those who are curious to see the IO waveforms, so here we have the select line for the um, uh, tactile switches. And here we have the select line for the um, latches. So if we look at the latch signal, we have these short pulses that latch the data in. And if we look at one of the enable signals on the 74HC244, we should see if I can find it there, there it is, the select line. And if we look at the Z80's IO request line, we can see that there are two distinctive, two distinctive pulses right here, where it's reading the tactile switches and writing to the latches. And that's it. Project part four done.